the devil will really trick you into thinking that what you have is not enough. Where you're going is not enough. What you're doing is not enough. <laughs> he will want you to feel like your partner is not enough. He will want you to feel like you're not doing enough in your life at the moment. Now, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not where you think you should be. Maybe you're not where you want to be. But he will also make you feel like where you are is not enough. And where you are is enough at that moment. Because it's part of your journey. It's part of the process. God wants us to appreciate every single moment. Even if it's just gratitude for where you are in that moment and knowing that where you are in that moment is not the end all be all. The wisdom that comes from being still and knowing that things will not always be this way, whether they're great right now or not. Things don't last forever. Moments don't last forever. The trickery of the devil will really have you rethinking things that don't need to be rethought. They just need to be appreciated. Appreciate where you're headed and the journey that it will take for you to get there. You're on a weight loss journey? Appreciate where you are right now. Take things day by day. Don't give up on yourself. Get yourself out of that pattern going back and forth. You're on a sober journey? Appreciate where you are right now. Take things day by day. Don't let the devil's trickery fool you into believing that. Self-love is one more day of that thing that kept you in your pattern. Oh, I, I can do this one more day. I didn't do it as bad as yesterday. If it's not good for you, it's not good for you. Those things that aren't good for us, that keep us stuck in those patterns, that's the trickery of the devil. You are exactly where you need to be. The thing is, is that sometimes we focus on so much where, of where we want to be that we don't spend time appreciating where we are. Think about that today. Think about where you are in life and think about where you want to be. And then think about what are you doing to get yourself there. Write it down. And then think and then write down what have you done that has hindered you. And one is it better than the other? Those two categories. Where you are and where you've been, that equals to your journey. That is equal to your journey. Don't let your lack of knowing where you will end up dictate how you pursue where you wanna go. Enjoy it all, enjoy it all. Appreciate all the lessons in life. Take time today and think about all the good things that you ever encountered and then focus on the great things that you still want to encounter. Neither one will come easy. Neither one will completely fulfill you, but they are all part of your journey. And that's just something to think about. God bless.